Huge breaking news is a certain someone has been caught faking evidence. That's right. You know all of those pictures that were presented to the courtroom saying, this is what JD did to me? Yeah, apparently when you go in and you start looking at the metadata, 99.9% of them, they have been altered in some way. Now, some of this is absolutely insane, too, with some of these pictures being created years after the fact on technology that didn't exist when the supposed events transpired. Yeah, you talk about a bombshell and get it busted. Whew, this is it right here. Now, things, they don't stop there either. Oh, no, not by a long shot, as JD also makes another bombshell allegation. He says that the reason that he needs those original devices is not only to look at all of the metadata, which I think is fair, but also because that certain nameless person downloaded and spread confidential information, giving items to the sun that they were not allowed to have, and that this, it'll prove it. It'll bury that nameless person, and yeah, they are afraid of that stuff, you can tell. Now, a certain person, they are fighting hard to keep this evidence out of a courtroom. Of course they are, because not only did they manipulate and manufacture evidence, not only did they lie to a judge in a courtroom, but they lied to multiple judges in multiple jurisdictions, multiple courtrooms. Rooms. And when that stuff catches up to you, yeah, you got real, real problem. Now, what makes this even more interesting is the nameless person to keep this out of the courtroom. They lash out at JD. Why? Because they are panicking big time. You and I, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the newest filing and this evidence right here. Yeah, it's getting bad for that nameless person. They know it too. Every day, something seems to be revealed. Yeah, fun times, huh? Fun times indeed. Oh man, oh man, oh man, getting caught faking evidence. Oh, not a surprise, but man, what a bombshell. So hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing excellently. And as far as the manipulation and manufacture of evidence is concerned, oh, there is a lot. We are talking about a lot of stuff out there that proves that this transpired. Now this chart, it discusses pictures from December 2015. Remember, that's when a certain name nameless person decided they would go on TV. They decided they would show the entire world makeup and how great it is, while also claiming they had a broken nose, the busted lip, and so many other problems. These are the pictures of all of that, by the way. You see how many of them there are. You can see the device that they're taking on. And we'll look at this here. Metadata inconsistencies. Oh yeah, quite a few metadata inconsistencies. Third-party metadata fields. That means something, some way, somehow that's been edited. Yeah, most of these, they were edited after the fact. Now, if you think that's bad, well, listen to this here. From the above source, I have extracted unedited copies of 18 of 20 images and included them as annexes to my report. The chart below identifies the unedited copy for each image. So you can see, these are all the images they decided to look at. The source, by the way, if you look at that, that's going to be important in just a moment. This would be an iPad Pro 10.5. Now, look at the footnote here. They mention. Photos from the iPad Pro 10.5 were created on or after October 16, 2018. Huh. So as such, any editing of the trial bundle versions would have been on or after October 6, 2018. That's interesting considering these are pictures from December 2015, right? They show a terrible incident that supposedly transpired there, and yet they were manufactured three years after the fact. They were on the original source, the Apple iPad Pro 10.5, you know, a device that didn't get released released until 2017. Now, like I was saying earlier, that that's not the end all. Oh no, you're just getting started. This is described by the real Laura B on Twitter, by the way. Props to her for not only including this information, but for digging it up in the first place. Definitely check her out. See, JD's team, they make another bombshell allegation. They allege that the same devices that were utilized to manufacture and manipulate false evidence, they were also utilized to download and spread copies 
copyrighted confidential information. JD's team says that they have proof of this too. Why? Because in the UK case, the Sun, they provided this information to JD. Where did they get it? Well, they didn't get it from JD, so the only other source that would have had access, that would have been that certain nameless person. They were giving them documentation that they weren't allowed. They were giving them pictures that they shouldn't have had access to. Yeah, that that's a bombshell as well. Now, that nameless person, they react the way that they always do when they panic. They react by trying to go full guns blazing after JD. This causes them so many problems, too, because they're saying, well, you know, if you want my devices, I want your devices as well. Why do they want his devices? Well, that's a good question. But beyond that, also, they want sanctions. Yet yeah, they want money for having to file this stuff because they're fighting basic, basic discovery items. I mean, that seems insane, doesn't it? Now, the excuses for not wanting to turn this stuff over, <laughs> oh, they are so golden, too. First of all, they argue this, ah, oh, we've already turned over enough information. You don't like what we turned over? Well, we're not going to provide anything else. We don't think the courtroom, it should make us either. And you know if the court tells them to, they're going to argue about this. They're going to tick off the judge. That That'll be fun to watch. Number two, they say, well, all of this information, it came out over years. And even though we're going to put this into the court record and we're going to say that this is proof that you did something horrible. Well, 38 individuals, they took all of this. This came up over a seven year period. So, of course, it's too much work for us to put together. Sorry about your luck. Now, my absolute favorite excuse, though, basically boils down to, what about the UK? In the UK, it was different. JD, he said something different after all. Quote, even though JD told the UK that he did not dispute the accuracy of metadata and that, quote unquote, an analysis of all the digital images would not yield much more, if anything. Now, what's fascinating about that is how that came up in the courtroom. You should look at the transcripts if you don't believe this, because a Essentially, the judge would not let J.D. take that nameless person to task on anything. He said, yeah, you can look at metadata if maybe you can do it in the next hour, but he wouldn't give them any time whatsoever. Now, what's funny is they've argued the opposite, too, essentially saying these things are different in different filings, but today, you know, they're the same because, hey, you know reasons. You gotta love that, right? But anyway, let me know what you think about this. There's more to this, too. We can go over it in a live stream, let me know in comments. But yeah, let me know what you think about this. And as always, appreciate the heck out of you. You make this stuff work, so thank you. Can't say that enough. If you want to help out the channel too, there are links in the description. Definitely check those out if you want to help out. But you being here, that matters. So thank you so much. I appreciate you. Share this stuff everywhere. You know how that goes. And yeah, I'm going to end here. I hope you have a great one. And well, we will see you soon.